Clinical officers across the country continue voicing their grievances with today's protests drawing participants from the counties of Machakos, Kitui and Makueni. They marched from Water Green Park to Governor Mutula Kilonzo Jr.'s office where they presented their memorandum. We are here as a result of failure of government. Failure of government to honor the law that they usually ask us to honor. Because there was an order of the court that directed that the Council of Governors and the Ministry of Health should sit with us and we should be able to conclude our collective bargaining agreement. So for the first time, we actually went on strike to force the government to obey an order of the court. Their demands include a 15,000 shillings risk allowance under the conversion of contractual employees to permanent positions, among other issues. <laughs> Motula acknowledged that most of the issues raised by the medics can be resolved, but noted that the wage bill issue has hampered the implementation of some demands. It is unfortunate in a country for doctors or clinic officers like yourselves to be on the streets. It's very unfortunate. Not politicians, not other cadres, doctors and clinic officers. In fact, one of the things that you are asking, Miliuriza, why is this a problem? The 15,000. That's a drop in the ocean, considering the, the amount of money we are spending on tours in the country in the world. Kenya Union of Clinical Officers Chairperson Peterson Washira maintained that demonstrations will continue until all issues are resolved, urging clinical officers not to relent. We are here to stand against discrimination because discrimination is indignified. And that is why we are saying we are here to fight for professional dignity. And we have said we are not <coughs> signing any return to work agreement without the enhancement of the health risk allowance. Mumbi Wambogo K24 TV